My name is H.A. Goodman, and I'm an author, columnist, and journalist. And to read all my writing, go to counterpropa.com. To support this YouTube channel, go to my Patreon link. Very simple message I want everyone to know. And I want everyone to share this sentiment. Notice something, the biggest difference between Democrats and Republicans. Whereas I disagree with Republicans on policy, I do. I don't want a border wall. Um, I don't want an immigrant ban. I don't want all these things, okay? But the difference, the big difference, and something I respect about Republicans is that they're true to their value system and they actually focus on policies. What Democrats do is that they focus on everything other than policy because their truest voices, the boldest, purest voices within their progressive movement or democratic or liberal politics, they're marginalized, bullied, stomped on, and uh, jettisoned by establishment, the establishment within the Democratic Party. Republicans don't do that. Case in point, we have Trump, okay, as president. So Trump is rewarded for being true to his value system on the right. On the left, they don't want anything to do with their value system. But that's philosophical. That's exactly why you don't vote for Hillary Clinton. You draw a line in the sand. But Sally Yates is this Trump-Russia probe investigation. Sally Yates' testimony is, is a smokescreen for the DNC. It's a smokescreen for the Democratic Party because Hillary Clinton spent $1.2 billion dollars. Cheating Bernie Sanders, we know from the WikiLeaks DNC emails that Bernie Sanders was cheated. Complete and utter destruction of the Democratic brand, DNC brand. Nobody wants, I mean, people don't trust the Democratic National Committee. The only way to get people to vote Democrat is to create this facade, or this farce, this charade. So let's go ahead. Do you think... Sally Yates gave any evidence? No, no evidence. The James Clapper? No. Is the NSA confident? Only moderately in the uh, Trump-Russia probe. Sally Yates said she told White House Flynn was susceptible to blackmail, but Podesta wasn't susceptible to blackmail, but Hillary Clinton wasn't susceptible to blackmail. 85 donors actually blackmailed her, gave $156 million to the Clinton Foundation. So she wasn't susceptible to blackmail. The whole thing was a money laundering scheme. David Sirota broke the story, the weapons deal scandal, in the International Business Times. So, Sally Yates told House aides Flynn was a Russian blackmail risk. Okay, after Sally Yates and James Clapper t testify, Donald Trump melts down. So this is all used as, this is Hollywood. It's nothing to do with policies. This will not get Trump, this will not defeat Trump. Only Bernie Sanders, Nina Turner, and Tulsi Gabbard will defeat Trump. This is the type of thing you're gonna get at this channel. And you're gonna get that information, unique information from Tim Black. There are other voices too that are independent, completely independent. I don't care what the DNC thinks or Democratic Party or TYT or the Young Turks or anyone. I don't care what they think about my philosophy because I was Bernie or Bust or Jill Stein and I stated in 2015 that Hillary Clinton could not win. The establishment has been wrong at every turn. Iraq, no WMD. Hillary winning, she lost. Uh, you know, Gulf of Tonkin to, you can go each era, sorry, each era, the establishment is almost always wrong and always lying to you. This is an example of a smokescreen. Give me your thoughts below. This is a DNC smokescreen. And Sally Yates essentially still works for, the, for, for a Democrat, in this case, the DNC. Give me your thoughts below. Thank you so much for listening.